Fire crews say they have confirmed that this fire began on the first floor of the building where a man was cooking dinner with his children. Now, I also spoke with fire officials this afternoon about concerns residents had over how long it took crews to arrive. I've just learned that it was just five minutes for crews to get to the scene after they were dispatched. But the Trotwood Fire Chief tells me he believes the resident tried to put the fire out himself before calling 911, and that caused a delay when it allowed the fire to spread through 24 apartments. Just after 7 o'clock Monday night, flames lit up the sky, licking away at the roof of this apartment building in the Westbrook Village Apartments near Olive Road and Salem Avenue. Never, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, it's, it's sad, it's real sad. Now the daylight reveals the severity of the damage. We have a couch, maybe a table and chairs, but clothes, food, everything's gone pretty much. Families from each of the 24 units cross the yellow tape, hoping to find anything that isn't charred or soaked from the fire lines. They've been reliving the fire all day. I just rushed right over and just seen everything go up in flames like it was, it was horrible. It's so hard to fathom. You don't really think stuff like that happens. A woman and her child had to be rescued from the fire, and one man suffered minor burns but has since been treated and released. The Red Cross has stepped in to house residents for a few days. We just want to rebuild and we try to get to where we was. It's going to take a lot of patience and time. You try and tell yourself to be thankful. You got your family out and everything like that. But you just got to sit down and think, like, where do you start now? You start, you pretty much starting from nothing. No clothes, no, nowhere to stay. You have to start up from, start all over again pretty much. Well, Trotwood crews did run into some hurdles while fighting this fire. Coming up tonight at 6, I'll tell you about those challenges and what they're asking residents to do to help. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.